do you want to earn quick cash with data extraction jobs on Upwork? In this video, I'll show you how easily you can extract data using Agent QL. So without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can start using Python SDK to run your queries in production using the PlayRit and use a browser-based debugger for optimizing the queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is basically a robust alternative to Fragile, XPath and the other selectors that are available as it uses the power of generative AI to analyze the page structure and then find relevant data for the query that you've entered. One thing that you should do is you should register yourself on the Agent QL website. You will get an API key. Let me start off by showing you Agent QL's amazing browser extension. The first thing that you have to do is you have to install the browser extension. Paste the API key in the extension and you are all set to move forward. So I go to iPhone 15's listing on Flipkart.com. So Flipkart.com is a leading e-commerce website in India. So that is something that I'm utilizing for this particular demo. Now I want to extract multiple fields from this particular website. I want to extract page title, the price. In an e-commerce website, if I want to extract the currency as well as the price, there will be a lot of hassle in extracting that, right? And I also want to extract the total number of ratings, the total number of reviews and the overall rating of this particular product. In order to extract data, what I do is I right click, I click on inspect. If the installation is successful, then you just have to go down and click on agent QL. If you've entered the API key correctly, then you should see this particular screen. Now what I do is I enter the fields that I want to search for. So I enter product name, price. Inside price, I want to extract the value as well as the currency. I want to extract rating, the number of ratings and the number of reviews. I click on fetch data and I get all the data in one go. Take a moment to absorb this. You've not written a single line of code. You've not extracted any piece of HTML text tag, etc. All of this is plain LLM magic, all thanks to agent QL. So the product name is extracted, price is extracted, currency rating, number of ratings and number of reviews. Isn't this amazing? Now I want to extract the same set of features, but from a different e-commerce website which is amazon.in. So I go to that site. I paste the same fields again and I now click on fetch data for amazon.in. And these are the results that I get. I get the product name, price, value, currency, rating, number of ratings and number of reviews. Look at how amazing it is given that there were no number of reviews in the page. There was no result extracted. Truly mesmerizing, right? So you can create an entire e-commerce comparison website without writing a single line of code using Agent QL's Chrome extension. Now an obvious point that you would kind of highlight is I cannot share a solution on an extension to my client, right? Which is where if you have some basic Python knowledge, you can create an end-to-end -end solution with very few lines of code using the agent QL library. So let me take you through how easy it is to create an end-to-end -end data extraction solution using agent QL. Let me start off the entire activity by installing agent QL. For the demo, I'm basically using Google Colab. You can replicate this entire activity on your local machine as well. Now that the installation is done, Agent QL also requires PlayRit or Playwright. This entire library is required to simulate a browser behavior. So that is something that I require, which is where the installation of Chromium comes in. So I'll quickly run this cell to install the dependency. If you've created an account on the Agent QL website, then you would have access to an API key. So whatever API key you would have received, you basically have to set the agent QL API key environment variable. So that is something that I'm doing here. So I'll quickly run this cell as well. 
Now comes the interesting part that all of you have been waiting for. That is how simple is it to actually extract data using Agent QL? Well, it's as simple as what you see here, right? I'll go through this piece of code line by line so that you are able to understand what is happening here. So I start off by importing the Agent QL library and the Playwright's async tools. Playwright or Playwright is a tool for automated web browser control. So that is something that I'm utilizing. Here I've defined two URLs, URL1 and URL2. Both of them point to the same product but on different websites. If you remember the browser extension exercise that we just performed, we have to pass in what we want to extract in a structure something similar to this. So that is what I've created here. I've created a variable called as product underscore info underscore query. So this is my query that I want to execute. Now I'll quickly run this cell. Now here what I'm doing is I am kind of creating async calls. Okay. Now the reason why I'm doing this is sync calls are also possible using agent QL, but given I'm using Google Colab, only async calls are possible using Google Colab. Okay. Now what exactly is happening in this piece of code is what I'll kind of help you understand. So the first thing that happens is you start play it and it basically launches a Chromium browser. So I'm using Python's async features for better performance and the which statement ensures that the browser closes after the entire activity is done. So this is what is happening here. In this piece of code, what is happening is we create a browser page or a tab and wrap it with agent QL to enable data extraction capabilities. Moving on to the next line, what we are doing is essentially we are going to the first URL, which in our case is the Amazon URL. Whatever query that we've defined, all of that query data is passed to this particular URL and we wait for the result to come in. And finally, once the result is ready, all of that will be saved into the variable response. And that response price is what I display here. I carry out the same activity with the second URL. I wait for the response to come in and I also display the final price of the product that has been extracted. So I'll quickly run the cell. So here I have the first response price at Amazon is 3299 dirhams and the price at Jumbo Electronics, which is again a leading e-commerce website in UAE. It's again 3299 dirhams. So this is what we have here. So the prices across both the sites are the same. And the beauty of the solution is that I've specified that I want to extract the price. I have not specified the HTML tags that you have to look at. Everything has been handled by agent QL. Amazing, isn't it? Now let's move on to a complex query. So in the previous part of code, what I showed you was something that was fixed, right? I had a URL which had the exact web page which I wanted to extract data from. But imagine if you have a use case wherein you want to search and get to the result, which is where now in this particular solution, what I'll show you is how you can search on a particular URL and get the result. Okay. So here I defined two URLs, Amazon URL and Jumbo URL. These are basically the base URLs of the e-commerce websites. Now here I have the home page query in the home page query. I'm searching for two fields, the search input and the search button. That is what I want agent QL to search for me. Okay. And once the search happens for the website that is extracted, I want to extract the product price for iPhone 15 to 56 GB. So imagine what you're trying to achieve. I want to search for iPhone 15 to 56 GB. What is the price based on some search that happens? We'll kind of quickly go to that as well. So here is where the entire magic happens. So here I'll try to break this down into smaller chunks so that you can understand really well. So the first thing that I do is I define an async function that will take a browser context and URL as input and return the price from that particular website. So this is essentially what this particular function is doing. Now the first thing that happens is it creates a new browser tab, navigates to that specific website. Once all of this is done, it waits for the website to completely load. Then it finds the search box and search button. 
it types automatically iPhone 15 to 56 GB into the search box and clicks the search button. Once I get the result, it extracts the product price from the search results and returns the price. All of this is encapsulated. All of this complex activity that you want to perform is encapsulated in this particular function. Now what I do here is I set up the browser environment. I launch the Chromium browser, create the new browser and using async.gather, I want to extract prices simultaneously and store it into the two variables that I have. So I have two variables that is Amazon price and Jumbo price. So I want to extract data from both the websites and store it into these variables that are there. So I'll quickly run this cell and show you the magic. So here you have the output price at Amazon is 3299 dirhams and price at Jumbo is 3299 dirhams. So this is the power of agent QL wherein you can search for whatever you're looking for and automatically the search will happen and the results will be populated. If you again notice the entire workflow, there was very little that you had to do in terms of getting the website structure correct. All of the heavy lifting was done by agent QL. There's also a feature that I personally like a lot in agent QL, which is get by prompt. You can access website elements via prompt. That is the amazing part of agent QL. So the previous exercise, what we performed, we had to create a search box, etc. And there was some amount of manual intervention that was required. But here, if you look at this particular solution, again, again, the core of the code is still the same. What is unique or what is new are these two lines of code. So I've created two variables called as search underscore text underscore box. And I say for this particular web page, once it's kind of loaded, I want you to search for search input field and save that element into this particular box. Similarly, I want you to search for the search button box, which is search button here. All of this will also get saved here. And then for the search text box, I want you to fill it with this particular input query and then click and then get the results. So with this approach, you can access elements via prompts. Okay, so let me quickly run this as well and show you the amazing power of agent QLs get by prompt functionality. So there you have it. I'm able to extract the price of iPhone 15 to 56 GB with very little understanding of how the website is. All of the heavy lifting as always has been executed by agent QL. Well, this is how amazing agent QL is. I highly encourage all of you to try out Agent QL. The first thing that you should do is visit their website and get your API key. Once you have the API key, you can play around with their APIs and start creating amazing data extraction application. Well, this is all that I had in today's video. I hope you liked today's video. Thank you so much for watching the video.